Okay, this is the Game is On 100 here with the video, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about Edge's uh, retirement from the WWE, as we just heard from this episode of Monday Night Raw. So let's get started. Um, as we all know, Edge is going to be retiring from the WWE um, due with his. Uh, a uh, broken net that he suffered many years ago that he knew that by then when he had his net broken that he was on borrow time he knew that he was going to be uh, going to have to leave the business eventually like he said he was his career was on borrow time which means he could have ended his career at any moment so he said that after WrestleMania, he started losing feeling in his arms and went to see a doctor after an MRI. He decided that he would need to retire. So, this is a shortcoming for Edge. I know Edge retained his World Heavyweight title at WrestleMania. That was a true defining moment for Edge to retain his title at WrestleMania. He needed that WrestleMania moment, and now he will have that moment for the rest of his life. I said in my previous video that Edge needed to retain his World Heavyweight Championship at WrestleMania to have his defining moment, have his time as being uh, retaining as World Champion, because in the previous times he had the title at WrestleMania, he lost. So it was only fitting for Edge to retain his title like I said before and when I said about uh, Alberto Del Rio will deserve deserving to get the world title he will have that chance to get the world title now um, I wasn't saying anything bad about Alberto Del Rio I was saying Alberto Del Rio is a fine talent like I said I like Alberto Del Rio very much he is the, he is going to be the future world heavyweight champion I see that so without saying that, uh, this is a sort of a, a shock that Edge is going to be re announcing his uh, retirement right now. Um, he said earlier in the year that he said he was going to be retiring in a year from now. And uh, this is sort of shocking that uh, he has to retire now. Um, he, had a, he had a good career. No question. When he first came into the WWE... He was down in the mid card. He was down in the mid card level uh, when he first the first match that I seen Edge in a pay per view that I seen Edge compete in was at SummerSlam in '98 when he teamed up with Sable in a tag match. Um, I don't know. I don't remember what was the opponent that Edge and Sable had. I think it was. I don't know what the what the opponent was, I wasn't, I wasn't too sure, but I knew that Edge, as soon as I seen that match, I knew Edge was going to be a future spot in this business, and then eventually he did go down, be with the, with the corporate ministry, with The Undertaker, then he went on to being the, the brood with Gangrel, being a, the vampire gimmick. And then eventually doing to the form of the tag team of Edge and Christian doing the the flash photography for five seconds only gimmick. And then he eventually got out of the tag he got out of the tag team picture and eventually he got into the mid card titles. Um, he got the he got the Intercontinental title during when he was in the in the mid carders. He even got the the United States the WCW United States title in the process he unified the Intercontinental and the United States Championship at Survivor Series of nine of uh, 2001 yes summer Survivor Series of 2001 when he unified the the US title and the Inter Intercontinental title both um, then he eventually he worked his way up. He suffered an injury with his neck. Then and after he had his neck surgery, um, he came back and he was immediately going into um, going to be heading in towards it to the main event picture. It all started for him in 2004 when he turned heel. In 2004 when uh, when Edge was more deserving to be in a title match. 
So by the time in 2005 came at WrestleMania 21 and the first ever Money in the Bank ladder match, Edge won the first Money in the Bank ladder match, and he is the first person to cash in the Money in the Bank briefcase on the vulnerable champion John Cena at the New Year's Revolution All Sits pay-per-view in January. And Edge, that started Edge to becoming to be an 11-time World Heavyweight Champion. By that time, he was all known as the Rated R Superstar, which is properly fitting for Edge. Um, he had his uh, live set celebration with Lita in the ring. He did have that. He was the highest rated champion. At, he was the highest rated champion at that time for that segment that they had on Raw. Um, eventually, he got himself several more world title matches and won the world title and the WWE title consecutively. And now that his career is now over, um, so now Edge is going to be retired now. Edge is going to be retiring as a champion. It's not more better fitting to retire as a champion. It's nothing more I have a feeling to retire as champion. The only other person in the WWE to retire as a champion is Trish Stratus when she won the, the WWE Women's Championship from Lita in September of 06 when Trish Stratus decided she was going to be retiring. She wanted a title match against Lita. In September of 06, she won, she won that match. September of 06, after she won the match, she was the champion. Then she announced her retirement. She was the first person to retire as champion for female and the first male wrestler in the WWE to retire as champion is Edge. So Edge had a brilliant career. Um, I, give my, I give my two thumbs up on Edge. He will be greatly missed in the WWE. He's going to be uh, an eventual future Hall of Famer. He will be. Um, what else to say about now what that does for the world title picture now on SmackDown? Well, it's probably more than fair. We'll find out on Friday Night SmackDown that uh, Alberto Del Rio is the number one contender. Then when Edge would have to forfeit the title, the, the title will be declared vacant since Alberto Del Rio is... The number one contender for the world heavyweight title. They're going to probably announce something on SmackDown. Maybe they're going to have a. Maybe they're going to have uh, another person for the vacant world heavyweight title in the ladder, in the ladder match at that Stream Rules. They're going to probably have uh, probably have some matches that that's going to determine who will face Alberto Del Rio for the vacant. Uh, world heavyweight title, and my speculation is they should have uh, Christian face Alberto Del Rio for the vacant world heavyweight championship. Um, it would be good for Christian to uh, get into the world title match. I know everyone is wanting Christian to get into the world title match so bad because he is so much deserving of getting in. I completely agree with that. Let Christian get in. And into the world title match. Let him get into the world title match pitcher on SmackDown. And we'll see what happens. We'll find out on SmackDown. So this is a sort of a shock for Edge to uh, announce his retirement. Uh, we'll find out on SmackDown what, uh, what's going to happen. So all I got to say is to Edge, good luck. You'll be missed. And I don't know what else to say. You were a great character. I appreciate it. So, yeah. So, in closing, this is the Game is On 100. And I'll talk to you all later.